Hi there, my name is Kate and I want to help you understand how to start using Echomail, what should be your first steps and what are the features that you have available within the app. So let's get started. Welcome to Echomail. You have successfully registered to your account and now you are within the app dashboard. This is the first page you will see after you sign up. Here you have all the important information, data and statistics. The top bar is the pathway to go into each section and is always available to you. From here, you can move into your dashboard, your campaigns, contacts, reports, automation, templates and more. You can also move to your account settings once you click on your email address. If you have any questions or you need help with setup, please refer to the knowledge base available or get in touch with our team right there. So what else can you find on the dashboard? On the top right, you can see the basic information about your account, the plan you're subscribed to and also your account's name. On the left, you can see the data from your last campaign and the most important metrics such as open rate and click rate. Below, you can see the subscriber growth over the last few months and you can switch to your order overview. Lastly, you can see how many users open your email on desktop or mobile and if you have any campaign scheduled. So now, let's move into your account settings. In here, you will find all the account information. Mainly, you can manage and change your payment setup and billing. You can also add new users to have access to your account if you need maybe an editor or another admin in your account. In the integrations, you can add your e-commerce store or CRM system to sync the data automatically. If your integration is not available at the moment, please let us know because we are always happy to hear about new connections we can create. In the domain section, that is where you add and check your sending domain. This is a very important step once you start using Ecomail, since your domain verification is the key to have a good deliver result. You will find a standalone guide and video on how to do this below. And you can also find other settings right here. So now let's move to your contacts section. And this is where you will find and you can work with all your emailing database. After creating your account, you will find a first list here that is created automatically with your account. We do recommend using only one contact list in the app to make sure your database management is as easy as possible. If you plan on having more contact lists, we do recommend reading this article before doing so. Once you open the list, you can see all your contacts here. In the top bar, you can see how many contacts are active or inactive, but do not worry, you only pay for the active ones. Underneath, you can see a table of your customer's data and their information. And you can also adjust the data you see if you need something specific. Now, let's take a look on contact details. Here, you can find detailed information for each contact. You get their properties, such as name, location and company. And then in here, you have their activity, both in email campaigns and on your website if you're tracking that. Further, you can see purchase history and lastly, you can add specific notes for each customer. So let's move on to a very important step and that's importing new contacts. There are two options to do this. Firstly, you can just add your contacts from your store by integrating your store with Ecomail, as I mentioned previously. But you can also add your database manually if you need to. So click on the contact import and either copy and paste your data or add CSV or XLS file. Then click continue. Now you're confirming that your database has given consent to send newsletter. Please remember that you can only send emails to those who have given you consent or to your customers. It's illegal to purchase or use publicly available database. So let's move on to the next step. Here you are picking the contact properties and determine whether data you need to import or not. So check the email, name or surname and any other data you might have and want in Ecomail. After you've picked all the data and given them the right category, you can move on to additional setup. You can add all contacts and specific tags or trigger an automation for contacts if you need to. Also, if this is not your first import, you can decide to update the data of your existing contacts. If you're happy with the way you set up the import and you're ready, click import. Now you wait a little bit, maybe a few minutes, and we will send you a confirmation once the import is finished. And this is all, so you can see the import of your data was really simple. Now let's take a look on other features in here that you might need. Firstly, you can find contact segments here. This is where you can divide your database into smaller groups, so you can better target them. 
For example, you can create a segment of active customers or inactive ones, which can be unsubscribed to keep the database fresh. Furthermore, you can also segment by activities and purchase history. So for example, create a segment of customers who have purchased specific product, so you can offer them something similar or maybe upsell them something else. Now we can move to preferences. Here you will create a specific preference group, which is great for asking customers what they like. Um, you can basically create a questionnaire and ask the type of content and what mailing frequency they prefer so you can follow up from there. And custom fields are available here to allow you to create any data field you might need. Maybe you have a specific customer ID that you want saved in Ecomail or you would like to save some specific information about the contact, such as their doc's name. So you create a specific field for this. Uh, lastly, there is an option for sign-up forms where you can create a pop-up, slider or an embedded form and insert it on your website. This is a great way to get someone to subscribe to your newsletter or offer them a discount for their first purchase. Lastly, in settings, you will find more setup options for the whole list. And let's not get into other options right now because they are explained well in our knowledge base and you might not need them as much. So now let's go ahead and create your first template in Ecomail. Just go to your template and click on new template. Give your template a name and pick an interactive editor and continue. From there, you can either choose from Ecomail pre-made templates, there's about 150 of them, or you can create a completely new template just for yourself. So let's choose a pre-made template and continue from there. Now let's take a look on how you can edit this template. Firstly, you might want to take a look on the settings. Here you can add your pair and also set up your colors and fonts. In the structure tab, you can pick and add a new structure to your template. And then the most important part, the content itself. You can choose from multiple elements. Just always pick the one you need and drag and drop it into your template. So let's start with text. Here you can edit all your text features right above it. So choose the font and size or maybe your prepared font from settings. You can also add other features and format the text to your needs. On the left, set up the content block and its margins or choose to hide it on mobile and desktop. This is truly a great feature for making sure your email looks good on all devices. When you choose an image, you will get more setup options on the left. You can add new images by clicking on choose image and then adding it to your file manager. You can also choose from free images. Once you choose an image, you can edit its size easily. And if you wish to edit it more or maybe compress the image completely, do it right here. Also, do not forget to add links to your image so there is an action behind it. Moving on, you can add more interactive features such as GIF or a video. GIF can be looked up from the database or you can add your own. And videos can be added from YouTube or Vimeo. And now for the most important part with usually the most clicks, a button. Mainly, add a link under your button to get the action you desire. You should also pick a great button text to make it more clickable. Lastly, you can change the button properties, border and radius, as well as padding to make it look great. Now, divider and spacer are features that you would probably use to make your template look visually great. So adding more space or dividing into sections. If you have your social media, you should also add a link so the customer can follow you. Just pick the design you like and add your info. If you have your product safe in product feed in Ecomail, you can also edit easily with product element. Just pick the product by its name or its ID and it will load automatically. Now, if there's any feature you would like to add and it's not available here, you can always use HTML code. This can be used, for example, as a countdown timer. But be really careful because some features might look great in an email template editor, but they will look terribly or they will have hard time being displayed in a mailbox. So test your template thoroughly if you use HTML. And lastly, do not forget to add unsubscribe link into your template, just using this tag. Once your template is ready, you can preview it and test it on mobile and desktop right here. Once you're done, just save your template and you can use it in your campaign afterwards. So let's move on to the campaign section. This is where you create a new campaign or you can duplicate the one you have previously created to save yourself some time. In the first steps, you are choosing the recipients. You can choose between the whole list or just a segment of your database. In the next step, you're first setting up the campaign name and that's just for you. Also, you pick the email subject, which is truly important and determines whether the recipient will open the email. So pay attention to this. 
Here you will also choose from name and from email and your reply to email. From name is also important so choose it carefully and we do recommend being quite personal here and adding maybe your name or your company name. So for example we would use Kate from Ecomail. And there are also other options in here, such as track your campaign with Google Analytics. And this is a great way to have your data saved in Google as well. You can also activate A-B testing or Facebook follow-up to have your campaign more complex. In the next step, you're choosing the email template. You might have already created one, so you can just pick that, or you can create a completely new one right here. After you're happy with your template, save it and continue. Now we're getting to the testing part and you should really pay close attention to this to make sure your email template is completed and has no issues. So first you can check the spam test and this will tell you whether their emails have any issues or reasons why your email would end up in the spam folder. Also send yourself a test email to see how the campaign will look in recipient's inbox. And this way you have control over all of the information you have put in previously, such as subject, from email and the content itself. Once you're happy with the template, move on to the last step. Here you will have an overview of the full campaign, so check everything once again and then you can either schedule the sending or send your email right away. But be careful because once you send your email right away, you can't edit it anymore. And now let's move on to the campaign report. And this will be available once you send your email campaign. Uh, you can either choose just one report to review or you can compare multiple campaigns at once. In the report, you can evaluate all the main data such as delivery rate, opens, click or any returned or spam compliance. Your most important data will be open and clicks because this is the data that determines whether the email was successful. If you have your e-commerce store connected to Ecomail as well, you will get the data about conversions from this campaign right here. Underneath, you will find the campaign results over time and also the links with most clicks. In the Activity tab, you will find person-specific data about delivery, opens and clicks. In Links, you have all your links overview and also a heat map to see which CTAs were successful. You also get geography and OS and client info right here. Now we can move into the most profitable and probably most important part of your mailing that is automation. You should always consider automations to boost your sales and make you revenue continuously. So let's take a look on email automation. Here you can easily create new automation, just give it a name and choose the frequency and connected contact list. Then you can choose from pre-made scenarios and create a new automation from scratch. Now, if you're starting out, I do recommend choosing the pre-made scenario to understand how the automation might work. For example, let's take a look on a very simple automation, welcome email. Choose, use this template and you will see the automation load. Based on your intentions, you might change the name and the frequency, but we do not really need to do that here. You can see right here that the automation is triggered once a person signs up to a list and it sends them email right away. This is a great way to thank new customers and welcome them in your mailing. If you wish to add new steps, just pick the action and drag and drop it. And always remember to finish the setup of each step. After you're done with the setup, I recommend testing the automation before you activate it. So close the builder and go to the testing section. Here, add your email, pick the trigger and start the test. Now you should receive the welcome email and you can just check whether it looks as you desired and has all features you like. If yes, you can start the automation now. So this was a really simple automation. We can now take a look on a more complex one. For example, the abandoned card. Again, give your automation a name and set it up. Then choose the pre-made automation for abandoned card. Here you can see the trigger is a custom event. And that is the event of adding goods to your basket. After the trigger, you wait for a bit and check if the purchase was made. If yes, it's great and you can end the automation. If not, you can send the person a reminder of their basket and urge them to finish the purchase. You can also repeat the scenario once again before you end the automation. Lastly, let's take a look on the other features of Ecomail. In here, you can set up your product feed and your data feed. And important feature here is the discount coupons. They allow you to promise customer, for example, a discount on your first purchase and send them a unique coupon just for them. Uh, you can also verify your email addresses here, so just make sure you're only targeting the active ones 
and I would really recommend to use this before your first mailing. Now, there's many more features that you might want to use in Ecomail, so please refer to our knowledge base where we have an article about each of them, or you can reach out to our customer support for more help. So thank you for taking this tour with me. You can now start using Ecomail right away.